I had this one situation, and I'll make it a short story, where this, this gentle elderly lady was dying very slowly. She had all of her faculties. Her body was ravaged, but she still had all her faculties. She could talk, and she could hear, and she was reasonable. She had all of her senses. And yet her body, below the neck, was failing. And she was, uh, do not resuscitate. And so as her body was shutting down, I got at some very tender moments in the middle of the night to talk with her. And, and before things got bad, I, of course, have to ask, because you can't let somebody walk into eternity without really knowing for sure. So I'm like, so, man... Tell me, what, tell me about Jesus. What do you know about Jesus? And she says, I've been going to church my whole life. And I was like, yep, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that, sweetie. Tell me about Jesus. And in the most sober moment, she says, I love Jesus. He is my Savior. I was like, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Anything that happens after this, I'm good with. I'm okay that she's dying because I know that she's okay. And it was just, it was odd. As her, as her body shut down, she started to lose her hearing and lose her vision, and then eventually she just passed quietly. There's a reassurance in our hearts, a steadfastness and a hope that comes when we can express our faith in Jesus. As you share what God has done in your life, even to the safety of your spouse, to the safety of your children, to the safety of your friends, who you know that are believers, in expressing that, in speaking that, it bolsters our own faith. We have faith and we speak, and by speaking it increases our faith. Why is this? Because we know the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you to himself. When you die, you get to be not only transported to heaven and see your Savior, but at some point, this jar of clay will be renewed into your resurrected body. It's going to be a good day. This is where we have hope.